Taipei is a city that comes to life at night and there is truly no experience more quintessential than checking out a night market. Today, I'm going to take you on a little food tour to Ningxia Night Market, Ningxia Yesu, which is one of the most popular night markets in Taipei for locals and tourists. It is also home to five Michelin Bib Goman Eats and that is exactly what we will be checking out today. In this video, I will be including some special tips such as the names of the dishes that each of this Michelin stalls in English, Chinese and Chinese phonetics so that you can order despite any language barriers. I will also include information such as how to get to Ningxia Night Market, when it opens, and also what is the best day of the week to go. Yep, none of these stalls are open seven days a week, so there are only certain days that you should go if you want to try out all five in one go. Basically, by the end of this video, you will be navigating yourself through Ningxia Night Market's Michelin style like a seasoned pro. But before we get into it, hi, I'm Steve, your foodie friend who likes to show you what and where to eat. So if you like food just as much as me, I highly recommend subscribing so that we can go on more fat food adventures together. Ningxia Night Market is home to over 200 stalls and is open every day from 5 p.m. right up to 1 a.m. Not everything will be open right on the dot at 5 p.m., but I would recommend getting there at that time anyway, as the stalls can get real busy real quick. You want to bring cash, and in particular, lots of small change, as most, if not all, of these stalls are cash only. Taipei has one of the best public transportation systems in the world, and it is super easy to get to Ningxia Night Markets. However, if you wish to take a cab, I have also included the Google Map location link in the description box. If it is your first time in Taipei, Pay, you're gonna need an easy yo-yo car to ride the trains. If you're not sure what that is, don't worry as I've previously covered it in my what you need to know before going to Taipei video which I've linked in the description box. Ningxia is located in the Datong district. If you're taking a train, the closest station would be Suanglian station which is located on the red Samsui Singyi line. Once you get there, you need to locate exit 1 and turn left onto Mingsheng West Road, Mingsheng Silu, heading west. The Ningxia night market is roughly an 8 minute walk from there. And the first store we are going to is located right next to the main entrance of the market. I love oyster omelettes, so when I tell you how fast I ran towards this first stall, you best believe it. I got there at 5 p.m. and there was already a medium sized queue at the front of the store. Oyster Omelette aka Ke Zai Jian is a Taiwanese night market favorite and Yan Huan Bian Ke Zai Jian has been serving up this tasty treat since 1965. Unlike the other spots we will be checking out in this video, Yan Huan Bian has its own storefront. Hot tip, they are closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. If you've never had it before, the dish is well, <laughs> an omelette. Mainly consisting of small oysters, Yuan Huan Bian uses oysters from Tainan. Sweet potato starch is added in with the egg batter to give the finer omelette a thicker consistency. And a sweet pot sauce is then added over the top to give the omelette a nice spice kick. Watching the omelette being made is also seriously fascinating. I mean, the speed at which this guy is making and serving them up is out of this world. This plate of oyster omelette costs just 85 Taiwan dollars or 4 Aussie dollars. Once you've placed your order, you will be directed to their dining area right next to the storefront. The omelette came out pretty quickly and guys, this was seriously good. Highly recommend you eat it while it's still hot as you'll get the oysters while they're still creamy and there were so many of them in the omelette too. I think we're off to a fantastic start. Our next Michelin stall is located in the middle of Ningxia Night Market and was super easy to find. I simply followed the queue. Fang Jia Shredded Chicken on Rice, Fang Jia Ji Rou Fan is located at stall 60 and when you see it, immediately join the queue. You are here for this very simple looking bowl of shredded chicken on rice. Yes, I know what you're thinking. What? That's it? That's what I'm here for? But guys, look at that queue and also remember that this made it to the Michelin Bib Goban list out of the over 200 stalls at Ningxia. I finally got a seat after a roughly 20 minute wait and the good news is that the food comes out real quick after you get a seat. This bowl of chicken rice cost 50 Taiwan dollars or 160 US dollars. I could already smell how good this was when it was served, the chicken was so tender and guys I don't know what they put in the sauce that they drizzle all over the rice but it made the entire thing so darn addictive to eat. I mean I polished off the entire thing in less than 5 minutes. My only regret was not trying out the other dishes which has made this doll now a must try again. 
in my opinion, are totally worth the wait. But this next stall is arguably the most popular out of the five Michelin stalls covered in this video. Simply Google Ningxia Night Market and I can almost guarantee the first pictures you'll see are of this stall featuring their egg yolk and pork floss stacks. Liu Yu Zai Yu Bing, Liu Yu Zai Fried Taro Balls is located at stall 91. They only have two items on their menu, the classic deep fried taro balls and the version with salted egg yolk and pork floss. As with any of the other Michelin stalls, there is always a queue but it moves fast. It took me only about 15 minutes to get to the front of the line and as the queue inches closer to the front, you also get to witness the taro balls being made up close and I can't help but be amazed at how effortlessly quick he is churning out those taro balls. The balls are then deep fried before served to you piping hot. The serving size is also super generous. I got two of each and really felt I overdid it after finishing the first plain taro one. The warm creamy taro was so good though. But if you're like me and love anything salted egg, then the second flavor here is made for you. It is also made from the same taro but stuffed with salted egg yolk and pork floss. I mean, if I had to just choose one, this one would be it. Although the original taro ball cost just 25 Taiwan dollars or 80 US cents, whilst the version with the salted egg cost 35 Taiwan dollars or $1.14 US. So why wouldn't you get both? Hot tip, they're closed on Thursdays. This one is a must try. And conveniently located right next door to Liu Yuzai is our next Michelin destination, serving up one of my favorite sweet treats of all time, mochi. Lin Zhen Zhao Mochi, Lin Zhen Zhao Sao Masu is open Tuesdays to Sundays. They serve up made to order mochi paired with ground sesame seeds and peanut powder. You also get the option of getting it served on shaved ice and condensed milk, but as I was here alone, I could only pick one. I went with the fresh mochi with a side of peanut soup, another Taiwanese street food classic. The fresh mochi costs 50 dollars or 160 US dollars and the peanut soup was just a dollar 80 US dollars. You're meant to roll the sticky mochi piece in either peanut or black sesame powder before consuming like so. Or both at the same time, live a little you know. The mochi was still warm, soft and stretchy. It was divine. The peanut soup was also good but as I visited right at the start of summer, this is probably something I would recommend in the colder seasons. It was still good though. I almost didn't want to go to this next stall as it had by far the longest queue out of all the Michelin stalls I went to in this tour. But we're here, so we're gonna do it. Rong's Pork Liver, Zhu Gan Rong Zai, is located right near the main entrance at stalls 8 and 10. I can almost guarantee you will have no problems finding it because apart from the long queue, you will also spot a small crowd around the shop mascot. It took well over 30 minutes for me to get to the front of the queue. Zhu oh. Gan gave me one shit. And you are here for their best seller, this bowl of liver slices in rich peppery broth. It cost me 65 Taiwan dollars or slightly over 2 US dollars and hot tip, you can always ask for extra broth. They also recommended me to get their Charlotte Taro Cake which cost 55 Taiwan dollars or $1.80 US. So I figured no harm and guys, it was delicious. The weather was so hot but the soup was so delicious that I finished the entire bowl including the broth. I mean I don't know about you but I am definitely coming back for a visit in winter. Rong's pork liver are also closed on Mondays which which brings me to the question, what is the best day of the week to visit Ningxia Night Market if you want to try out all five of this Michelin stalls? Let me lay this out for you. Yuan Huan Bian Oyster Egg Omelette is closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Fang Jia Shredded Chicken on Rice closed on Mondays. The Liu Yu Zai Taro Ball Stall is closed on Thursdays, while Lin Zhen Zhao Mochis are closed on Mondays, which means that Fridays to Sundays are the best days to visit this night market. If this little food tour has got you night market curious, I've also covered another 5 Michelin rated stalls at Rao He, another popular Taipei night market. I've linked that video right here so that you can go ahead and watch that next. If you found this video helpful, informative or entertaining in any way and want to see more of me in your feed, then I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. It is absolutely free to do but it really helps my channel out. I also upload every Saturday so don't forget to turn on that bell notification so that you can start your weekend with me. Until then, I hope that you have a great day ahead or that you've already had a good day. As always, I will see you soon in the next video. Hey guys, it's Steve from the Fat Life.